Hi folks, uh, we've got a replay from R. Gold here in his E2, and we're going to watch how he does in his E2. He is top tier in this game. He's in his, uh, he's uh, running towards heavy side, which I believe is the right place to go, because if you look at the team lineup, they've got a Cromwell on the enemy team, a 59-16, and then the KV-1 is basically the next, uh, and a T-14. So they do have uh, some armor, but if he uses ar his armor correctly, he should be able to bully um, all everything on heavy side. And so he goes middle first, which um, it can it can be dangerous, but it can also pay off, you know. And it's going to pay off in this case because as long as Artie is not up in the upper corner up here, like in A5. He should be good. So he's able to pick up a shot on on uh, their T-80, which that's a terrible tank. Don't ever play it if you can help it. And he's picking up a little assist as well. His team does not take metal, and that is a huge mistake on his team's part. As you can see, he's using the 76 millimeter. Uh, a lot of people would like to run the derp, but I personally three marked this with the, the uh, 76 millimeter, and I just find it more workable personally. I think it's up to preference, but um, but I like what he's doing up here. He's going to push. He notices that his Crusader and his Grant. I'm not sure why they push that far, but especially a Crusader is pretty soft, and a Grant is is. Uh, uh, basically, it's an M3 Lee, and we all know how good the M3 Lee is. Ha ha. So he fires on the move up here, and as long as he stays angled, these guys don't have much chance of penning him. The There's a nice shot right into the driver's hatch of the SU-85, and he gets another nice shot. Now, this T-67, if he was firing gold, would have a chance to go through, but he... Uh, decides he's going to give his life up <laughs> to Argold and Argold and now, now he picks up a Lux and so um, so he's doing a good job of clearing the side off and he's just blind firing a little bit see if he can get that SU-85 to fire. I don't know if you noticed he doesn't have the most fantastic crew in this. He definitely does not have six cents yet and his view range is pretty low and so um, but as long as he can get side shots he told me that he was looking for a fire on this KV-1 by the way and he is shooting the correct location to get a fire doesn't happen but it never hurts to try right so he tracks him in place and he's able to finish off that KV-1 this tank if you uh, if you're allowed to fire at will the DPM on it is very impressive so it's seven to three now it looks like the enemy team kind of pushed up poorly and uh, our gold is able to pull in there and get a final shot get the kill shot on the t14 I think that was kind of a lucky shot by the Cromwell. He had to hit the side, although he he was over angled. You can see where he was hit. And at this point, he's just going for damage. He's just trying to put out as much damage as possible. So he's basically full health, but he does pull out side on, and he's punished heavily for it. So. So there's three guys there. Now he's trying to work the angle and get the shot on the 5916, which he does. And now these guys are a little bit distracted. And he's able to pick up another shot here. So that is basically the end of the replay. He does not get any more kills. But uh, if you look up at the scoreboard, he has nine kills. That is impressive in any tank to get nine kills, even top tier. And so uh, I congratulate him on that effort, 1,500 damage. And uh, he even got a little bit of spotting. He got 540 blocked, uh, which, you know, he would have died if he hadn't blocked that amount of damage. So... 
good job, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the post-game stats. Okay, here we are at the after-action report. Our gold ended up with an ace tanker. He ended up with a uh, Radley Walters, which I always like to get. I don't think I think I only have one of those. Uh, top gun and of course a high caliber, and he ended up with 1,130 base XP, 1,579 damage or 70 damage. I'm sorry, and nine kills. So uh, ended up making 10,000 credits as well. So uh, appreciate him sending that in. That's a that's a great game. And uh, if you want to send your replays in, I have a link down below for my email, and you can send me a uh, link to a Watt Replays uh, website, or um, you can just send me the replay as well. So best of luck to everybody. I hope to see you out there, tankers, and we will catch you next time.